Jenny's made curry egg and a pineapple egg yolk. Oh, she's very stuck in the 70s, style-wise, is our Jen. Probably trying to emulate a Farrah Fawcett flick, bless her. <laughs> Must be like looking in a mirror. Cheeky. <laughs> so how long's this free bar going on, then? Until Carla rocks up and asks for a credit card back. Blimey. Yeah, she must have been quite fond of Paul. Yeah. Poor Gemma, eh? She must be in bits. Do you know what? Stays like this makes me glad we've got each other, eh? You're not wrong, Cock. Yeah. Benny, have you seen Billy anywhere? Yeah, yeah, he's right here, wearing one of them invisibility cloaks. Right. I won't worry about it, love. He's often late for stuff, isn't he? You are right, Bernie. Or maybe he's having a pint with Denny somewhere, seeing as they're best mates all okay. of a sudden. Can you not just let that go now? OK. Right, total disclosure. I might have said how... when he thought that Paul could hear his voice at the end, that... Um, what? They'd already passed. No, I didn't mean to. It's just, I was that riled by seeing him cosy up to your dad. Oh, oh me and me big mouth. Um. And what are you looking at? I've just laid my son to rest. Billy's just laid his husband to rest and all. Oh, sorry. Didn't realise you'd got a new job. Hey. As Billy's cheerleader. Better get your pom poms out. I'm so sorry, love. Right, I owe you a big drink. What do you want, Bill? What are you looking so miserable for? Hmm? It's meant to be a celebration of Paul's life. Yeah, come on, show him. Line him up. Throat like a desert welly. Being at a week. <laughs> Go on, then. Hey, say something nice about my lovely Paul, Glenn. Go on. Yes, love. Come. No, on. You go first. Go on, say something nice. You don't really know him, Bill. Yeah. Well, small community. Mm -hmm. Well, whenever he came in here, no matter what was going on, he always gave me the biggest smile. And not everyone does, you know. And I appreciated it. You know. Yeah, I do. Well, come on, then. Say some things, remember him. Reminisce. Listen, why don't I walk you home, mate? I'll make you a nice cup of tea. <laughs> well, I could take you back to your flat, you know, we could have a chat. <sighs> you didn't waste any time, did you? Huh? <laughs> I'm just having a laugh. What are you trying to molly call me for? I need a babysitter. What are you looking at? I've got a telly on my head. Billy, where are you going? I'm going home. I'm going to get on Grinder. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm just having a laugh. Paul will laugh to that. You know, because. In a sense of humor, and like you miserable lot. We go after him. Go on, Todd, he needs a friend. There you are. Come on, let's get you back to the flat. No, I want to go back. What's the point of going back? That was his mug. His aftershave, his battered old trainers, but there's no Paul. I can't stop here forever. It's not south facing for a start. And where are you going to hang all your heavenly prints? You know, the ones with all the inspirational sayings. In this house, we live, laugh, loathe. The last thing that Paul heard me say can't have been. I need to go and find my phone, can it? Could be worse, you know. Could have been having a row, and the last thing you said was bugger off. Screw you, Paul Foreman. Screw you. No. You gotta count your blessings. 
Maybe he chose to go when he wanted to go. Maybe like that was the last thing he said. Normal, every day. Not some Steven Spielberg moment with a full orchestra and fireworks and a crying dog. I just felt so guilty about missing his final moments. The only thing stopping me from spiraling was knowing that he'd heard me on the phone. I don't even have that. You know, without that, what have I got, you know? Your good friend, low-cost vodka. Here's a bit. I always thought that hope was only a heartbeat away. Because without hope, you know, what? What have we got? You know, what? What is the opposite of hope? Fear. What's it to be frightened of? We're softened. Mm. It's despair. Let's <sighs> take the weight off, eh? Over it. Drunk it all. Mm. Oh. It's my favourite word at the moment. Yeah, you and Oliver Twist. <sighs> you know, Paul died knowing he was loved. Knowing he was loved by you. And that final moment was just that. It's one tiny little moment amidst millions of moments across your relationship. Like a big, massive jigsaw with so many pieces. And that was just one little corner. You really shouldn't. Beat yourself up about it. This jigsaw might be finished, but it's perfect. When you step back and look at it, and you, I've got so much to live for now. One day you'll see Billy, the world's your oyster. And he'll be there with you. Just in a different way. You really are too kind. I never thought I'd say that about you. Don't be ridiculous, it's all an act. It's just my job. I'm a closet nice guy. I just want you to be happy. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, Billy, no, no, th this is not what you want. Not at all. Why did you even come back here? To check you're okay. God, you're just fluttering your eyelashes. I saw you. I suppose you've even kept the kecks on this long. I'm a grieving widower. I know you are. I'm talking which about is why. Jigsaws and trying to butter me up. I didn't misread the signs. You just got stage fright. There's no need to be like that, Billy. Well, stop being so flaming reasonable. Just get out. You don't mean that. Oh, don't I? Do you? Get out! Please! Please. I'm <laughs> so sorry.